just make this look nice. The end of my journey with Real Simple. <gasps> Fuck! Today is the day. Finally, our couch is getting delivered. So we've moved everything. I'm praying it fits through this door because only this one opens. Fingers crossed. They're here. I really hope that we can get this thing in. I just showed them the back door and they both looked at me like, OMG, these cushions are huge. <laughs> All right, so I just messed up and was trying to explain no. them that this one was the sectional for this side, but it's actually supposed to be here. I feel like an idiot. I was just like, had to bring out the sketch and everything. We're getting somewhere. What do you think, boys? Sun. All right, we'll leave it here. Little trick for big planters. Fill them with cans, plastics, any recyclables. Keep the lids on them. So that way you don't have to use as much potting soil. Just allow for enough, enough space for the roots. So this is pretty good. Might even add a little bit more. So I did it over here too. So picked up two willow, are they pronounced Oblesks or something like that for my tomatoes. We have different kind kinds of petunias. Very excited here. But we're gonna fill this with some plastic bottles so that way we don't have to put so much soil. A little trick. Don't mind the rest of the house. There's so many projects going on. I've got stuff everywhere. I found some pillows. I was gonna do a like vintage pillow covers and I couldn't find like any lumbar pillows that I like today which is okay because I think I'll find like one or two vintage ones that I really like. I ended up getting like a mixture of some pillows from the studio McGee. One time, I'm not even joking, I told Kyle, I was like, I need, he was fluffing pillows. I was like, yeah, you need to give it a chop. He like, without hesitation, instead of like going like this, he was like, bop, and just punched the pillow. And I was like, what are you doing? These look good. These are the right pillows. I love when I'm right. Literally put all the pillows on a piece of furniture at Target. I was like rearranging furniture and pillows. Got, so this is, these were the pillows that we had made with the couch. They didn't come with the couch. This is kind of like a linen type material, which I really like, because a lot of times throw pillows at stores are like a thicker canvas. This was Studio McGee. This is Heart and, or Hearth and Home. And then I think doing a neutral pillow in the center and then maybe a smaller one will be good. But this one is also stunning. And these covers are removable which is awesome. And then, so I could put a bigger pillow, which I probably will do. And then, just have to kind of play around with this. This is probably too many here, but we could maybe, I don't know, we'll, we'll play around with it. But I got the smaller version of this one. This was also a Studio McGee. It is actually really nice quality. It's like a woven canvas. Brings out the blue, so looks good. All right, we got this beauty, this olive tree. Um, it kind of got messed up in the car. I need to repot it like ASAP, but it's gonna go in the corner where my snake plant is. I've wanted to do some kind of vintage print in the breakfast nook, but I, I don't know. I wanted to start off with something kind of less expensive just to see how I liked it. And then down the road, if we want to do something a little nicer, we will. But this is one from the Studio McGee line. And I think it looks really nice. It's the perfect size for over there. I would love to put the olive tree in like a beautiful stone planter, but 
They're very expensive and it needs to be able to drain. And I don't want to scratch the wood floors. So I've seen where plants go into baskets. So I found this one and it wasn't exactly the color that I wanted, but now that I look at it, I think it's gonna look really beautiful. I stocked up on, this is kind of random, my favorite notebooks. I can't get them online. They're my favorite journals for morning pages. It's the Think Ink by Design Works. And got it in a couple colors. I love the green. And I got a mini one, possible garden journal. Then I also like this one, which is from Design Loop Co. And Hearth and Home, I've been wanting like a heavy duty bib to wear in the garden and they had this one and normally like waxed canvas and leather bibs are so expensive. This one was $25. I'm gonna look gardening queen. I'm so excited. Since we don't have a coffee table, I think doing the muslin throw and then a tray with some books and things is gonna look really cute. I have some new coffee table books that are um, I ordered. They had for 10 bucks, these fillers, little peat moss and wood. Wicker. Love my carved wood vase from the last Studio McGee launch. And I thought that this bowl was stunning. So I got that. Large basket for the tree. They had this one from Studio McGee with like the faux leather handles, has metal structure. So I was like, oh, it'll be really nice and sturdy for the tree. And the nice thing about planting in the baskets is that there's still a planter inside. So you can switch out the basket so we can kind of play around with it. If it doesn't work for the tree, it's just gonna be great as like a hamper because it has the handles. So, and I think like these are, woven baskets are so expensive from your standard suppliers, like hundreds of dollars. And this one was 50 and it's so well made. It's crazy, I don't know how they do it. I did get a few other woven baskets for our laundry, not our laundry, our linen closet. Um, the Hearth and Home have the cute little faux leather tops. So I got the canister, there's a smaller canister in here. I picked up two of the threshold baskets. I think these would be great for like the washcloths and then a divided tray, which could be cute also for the washcloths. <laughs> or dollar spot because they had the nap, I mean, this is technically a napkin holder but it just says a storage tray, but you could use this for your outdoor entertainment or like on a bar cart. They also had it in a larger size. These are only like five bucks. It's crazy. Look at that. Storage. Cute. For a bathroom or something behind the toilet, it'd be really cute. Hey, Koa, off of my flowers. You're gonna kill the verbena. I wanna show you, if you have wire metal shelving, this is what it's gonna look like when you take it out. So, I didn't think it's gonna be this much of a mess. Um, it's very difficult to get these out. So, we will be spending today just patching holes and then tomorrow sand, and then actually we're gonna need to paint this. So that is just a little forewarning if you decide to do this, have some spackle ready to rock, because we got some holes. This is definitely gonna be like a two day pre-install, I would say, so before we even start putting in the new cabinets, we need to just make this look nice and bring it back to new. So let's get the spackle and get this going. All right, we've got the holes patched, now we need to wait for them to dry overnight before I can sand and paint. So now we wait. All nice and painted now. So it's actually the same color as the rest of our first floor, which is Benjamin Moore Chantilly White. And looks a lot better. 
Now we can install the shelves. Okay. And there These are huge. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. I like the mirror. And this is so nice because I've also been in rooms where you're like in this tiny little room. This is perfect. And then your bathroom's back there. Oh, this is so nice. Okay, but then we'll around you, Brother. For Kumbaya time. Oh, we have a mini fridge. This is this is the tree. So everything would be okay. So I would come right. Okay, down. you'd come right That's down and you'd walk right okay. down the aisle. So music, how does that work? So typically your DJ. Questions mm. before we get there. This is stunning. Do typically line all the way down. So no, depending on how many people, would be how far back we go. Okay. Um, depending on where we sit up. Then I'll set up the I Love it. These won't be here for fall, but. Oh, Haley, this is so pretty. Yeah. This is way bigger than I thought. So this, this is, is right huge. Now it's set up for 80? Yeah, so they've been slowly breaking down to left. Okay. So just so, so Haley, so you have a visual. This room is set up for 80. Right. I'm just saying. What's well, it's like more 40 more people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey dear Harry, happy birthday to you. <laughs> Thank you guys. Uh, how you doing, Hans? Good. How are you guys doing? Good, good. Boy, it's just hard to believe you're 27 already. Ugh. Holy. Holy. You know, I still I still look at you and Josh's kids. I think I've already changed my mind. I? <laughs> uh, I know. I don't know how I got to 27. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Crazy. Okay, well, look, I imagine you're busy today, so here, my mom wants to talk to you, hon. All righty. Love you, Papa. Happy birthday. Thank you, Mama. Are you having a nice day? I am. How about you? Okay, where past do you live today? Yeah. yeah we'll yeah, we're here today. Okay. Okay? Perfect. Okay, I'll see you, sweetie pie. Love you, mom. I love you, too. Bye. Bye-bye. Come here, boys. Come sing happy birthday to mom. Ready? You ready, Ronnie? Don't lick it. Oh. Happy birthday to mommy. <laughs> Happy birthday to mommy. What, is, what do you mean it's not my birthday? Go, come here. Happy birthday to mommy. Happy birthday to me. You didn't say happy birthday. You love me. You love me. We are installing the last of the shelves. Working in such a tight space, definitely tricky, but we are getting there. I love that these just pop right into place because if I need to, I can take them out and adjust them. This is very customizable, which is the name of the game. There we go. See, it just snaps right in. And it's super sturdy. I decided to move the furthest bracket over this way a little bit just so that I could maximize the space that's directly in front. I still have plenty of room to turn the light on and off. It's coming along. I was too excited to not give these a shot. I think besides the entire shelving unit, this was what I was most excited about because this bottom area has been such a struggle to organize efficiently. And 
I was really excited to give these baskets from William and Sonoma a try. Let's see how they back there. Oh my gosh, it fits perfect. Wow. Oh, guys. Now, we're gonna put our supplements, protein powder, that kind of stuff in here. But you could put, you know, paper towels or, you know, backup baking items. This is killer. Just took off our old medicine cabinet. It was a wire rack, so I'm gonna have to go in with some spackle, touch that up. But this just slips right over the door, screw it in, make sure that it's level, and you're done. Just need to figure out where I want these to go. Maybe we'll just hide the holes. They just pop right on, that's so cool. Installed the birch fascias. These are just like a facade. So that way when you look at it, it looks like a full wood shelf. It's looking really nice. All right, just a little sneak peek at what is happening in this garage before the holiday shoot. We are gonna have this place so organized. This is everything for the Christmas shoot and this is everything for the outside shoot. Lots of fun pillows. Haley did color for this, which is told you I did color. And then I gave the deck another coat of paint. We're blocking it off with the chairs because of the dogs. And then I have all of these to pot tomorrow. And all of these pretty gems. It's stunning, right? They really need to drink though. Oh my goodness. Picked up a new coffee thing because ours isn't working and I cannot have them here without access to caffeine. So this is the new one. It's basically the same system that we had last time just brand spanking new. Hopefully it works longer than a year. I kind of like this ribbed detail. Project. I'm actually 
so proud of this. I kind of designed it myself, but I did get some inspo from the Pottery Barn Abbott bar cart. We're kind of making our own for less than half of what the Pottery Barn one costs. Plus I'm adding some additional features that the Pottery Barn doesn't, or the Pottery Barn like shelf cart thing doesn't have. I'll show you what I mean. So you can purchase the Abbott Concrete Acacia Island and Hutch, but by the time you're done, it's almost $2,500. And ours has a little bit more features. I mean, this is stunning. I'm sure it's built like a tank, but I mean, why not try to make it, right? So that's what I'm doing. Can we just take a moment of appreciation over these beautiful hydrangeas? And our pots outside are looking stunning. This whole thing just makes me so happy. Beautiful. Okay, so I just installed a, it's a towel bar, but we're gonna use it to push the cart around. And then I'm about to install six hooks here in the front for tools, towels. And then I think I'm gonna do a couple here, oops, for either Moscow Mule mugs or just other tools. And then I found a similar bar for, oh, excuse me. I found a similar bar for towels. And then this was something I added. This is just like a discreet paper towel holder. I didn't wanna to have to see paper towels all the time. So I just kind of made it so that when you're looking at it from the front, you don't even see that. But when we're grilling, we can just stick paper towels there for cleanup. This also has, because it's a potting bench. A tub for soil. I wanted something to clean our utensils off while we're grilling, but you can also fill this with ice for drinks as like a little cooler station. You can also use it for ice to keep food cold or like if you're gonna cook fish and you're like waiting for something else to cook and keep it cold on here. Plus this just kind of gives you like an extended bar situation, which I think is really neat. And it's pretty lightweight and it has wheels so we can move it around. But yeah, I gotta finish setting this up. I am so excited, guys. I just finished putting all the hardware on and I'm an accidental genius. I just figured out another hack for this video. This one just keeps getting better and better. I cannot wait for this to come out for you guys because there are so many clever tips and tricks here. But let me just show you what I figured out. So I wanted a butcher's block just in general for this because this isn't, you know, you don't wanna be putting food on whatnot on here. But if you need more table space, okay, I'll, I'll make sure I include the dimensions for this particular board. And I'm sure, you know, you could even get a larger one if you wanted to have it be above, but this fits perfectly. What? I mean, obviously it's not level, but that doesn't mean you still can't use it. I mean, it's solid as anything. Wow. Guys, I'm so excited. But how cool is this? I did the bottle openers. We've got the little bar to move it around. These are all leveled and equidistant. The towel bar, the paper towel bar. I did three hooks. I have a fourth, but I just feel like three is plenty. Rules of threes, another one over here, and then our little hand towel holder. So I'm just really excited with how it turned out. And then tomorrow I'm gonna go to the store after I go to the gym because we're gonna get to do all of the styling and prop stuff tomorrow to show you guys how beautiful it looks with everything on it. I cry, I'm so excited. I also picked up a few things for this shoot that I wanted to share with you guys. This is so nostalgic to me. I feel like my grandfather on my mom's side, like he always, you like it. <laughs> he always had like enamel stuff up at the cabin and it's just a little bit more vintage and old school. And I was looking for some of these things on Amazon, but the Hearth and Home collection 
from Target has these great serving bowls and they come with lids, which is so perfect for outdoor entertaining to keep the flies away. So I got the two large ones and then they have some cute little mixing bowls or not mixing bowls, but like little snack bowls. And then I also picked up the napkins. I really wanted the tray, but it wouldn't ship. And I don't know why Target doesn't ship everything. It's kind of frustrating. I'm gonna make the dressing for my firecracker slaw. I actually made this the other day for Kyle's parents and they loved it. And I make mine with stevia so there's no sugar. So it's pretty healthy. There's no mayo or anything like that. And it's delicious. So I am going to make it for you guys. Four ounces of apple cider vinegar. A third cup of stevia. It's traditionally made with jalapeno pickling juice, but I just prefer like a bread and butter pickle juice. And you're supposed to use mustard seeds, but I'm just gonna use a teaspoon of Dijon. Sometimes I make this with avocado oil too. This is actually really important. This is a half teaspoon of celery seeds. I'm getting low on them. And then salt and pepper. Probably need a double batch because I have all this slaw. And I just get the organic coleslaw um, and chop up or slice some red peppers and onions, or excuse me, bell peppers and red onions, and then some scallions, and that's all you need. It's really yummy. Definitely recommend making it a few hours ahead of serving it. Just tastes way better. I also typically add in just a little bit of garlic expressions because I feel like it is literally the best dressing ever. It goes on anything. And you know, I'm just gonna dump all the olive or the on garlic. I can't talk today if you couldn't tell. I used to marinade. It's just the best. That was a lot. So yeah, I did two servings of dressing. And then these kitchen shears are my favorite. My grandmother got them for me. Um, it's Kuhn Recon. I'll link them down below. So colorful. Pretty. It's almost 7.30. <laughs> I've been doing this since like 12. We'll have plenty of room. Can we go put the thing on that? I don't know. I like the other side better. They these people. It. What were they stupid? These people are. Oh my god, this would have looked so good. Got about two seconds into demo. Flooring under the flooring. Vinyl flooring. Under. 
There's vinyl under the vinyl? Yes. And it's like... Here, film it right here. Wood. I... They have covered it over it. With really thick, fake wood planking that they decided to use the other side of. I don't know why. This is crazy. Uh, could use this. So that's the other side. Wow. All right. Well, this is going to be a bigger project. <laughs> I mean, it'll put it down. Get as far as you can. It, it is as far as it can go. Really? Yeah. It's a long board. It's super. Ha ha! Ha It worked. <laughs> Harry's a genius. Don't. So <laughs> now I gotta move the skateboard. Dad, the boards are gonna be in the way. But you know, if you want to install this, it would, we could have just put it right here. I install that, I need to do the water faucet, I need to do the floor, I need to do the walls. This is like not a little deal, Haley. So this is our new seven and a half foot balsam fir from Balsam Hill. I still have some fluffing to do and I have COVID right now so I sound like a five year old. But I wanted to share some new baubles that I picked up and kind of share the theme for this year. I picked up these two brass <clears throat> mirrored lanterns from Train and I'm going to get big pillar candles and have those in there. And then I have, actually I have a lot to show you guys. I wanted to get some sprigs from, like some faux sprigs from Pottery Barn, but these were like half the price from Target and they're 40 inches long, nice and big. I got a single sprig as well. And then I picked up a bunch of stuff from Train and Anthropology and We'll just start here. So I have a mini lantern for the other side. I almost dropped it. I figured this would reflect. Oh my gosh, you can see I still have fall decorations out. I think this will reflect really, if it'll focus, there we go. Reflect really pretty. I have a couple of these in different sizes and I picked up three more so there's this size and then a mini super cute this is one of my favorite candle brands Linnea my other favorite is Sydney Hale I talk about them a lot too this is their forest fur and then which is like your classic Christmas tree scent but there's like an underlying smoothness and it reminds me of like when you walk outside when it snows if that makes sense the smell and then Noel, which I honestly can't really remember. It's a little bit of like a berry scent. I lost my sense of smell and taste with COVID, so I don't even know if I'll be burning those this year. And then some really stunning pieces from Anthro. This one, this one, which is like massive version of it. Um, a wood 
ornament. These are these are two of the same ones, just larger, it's like a moon esque kind of look to it. And then another mini one of these, just a little bit of a different color. And then, oh yeah, and I picked up a copper one. This is from Terrain. So pretty. Look at how lovely all that looks behind there. A gold version. And a pick. And then I have uh, the ornament version. And then a cute little sun frame. And then this I thought was so beautiful. I need to get the wide. Um, it's a frayed velvet in like a rusty red color. Super expensive for ribbon. It's like 11 yards. It was almost $50. But... It's beautiful. And yeah, that's what we're working with now. So we have the garland up on the tree. This is from Balsam Hill. It's two of the starlight or starlit garland. It's currently out of stock, but I will link it anyway for you guys in case it comes back in. I'm sure it will. It's so pretty. And then I do ribbon maverick. Mavi, no, no, sorry, it's a mess because all of this unpacking of Christmas, but I like to sink the ribbon in and out so it kind of blocks some of the gaps that you might have in your tree, so every other branch or every other um, row I will kind of pull out in a different direction, so like this side will be out and then I'll tuck this side in more and then pop it back out and then since this is in the one directly above it I'll try to have it be outwards so you kind of get it woven in and out of the tree and it's not just like the ribbon doesn't look like it's just sitting on the tree I'm not a big fan of that sorry I'm COVID man it makes me so out of breath um and then I go in and I sink all of the larger balls that I have like a ton of the same colors and whatnot in here and then that's what I do first and then I do all my specialty ornaments so let's get cracking I wanted to show you guys a quick little DIY it's super easy I am making a bell garland for the fireplace and don't mind all of my nails broke and I look ratchet don't mind these they all broke this week and I'm I gotta deal with this I gotta fix it um you can get these bells on amazon i'll link them for you and then i'm just using twine and doing little slip knots i'll show you how to do that and then i'm going to string this on the fireplace so instead of you know looping it through at the end all you do make a little loop like this right it's really, really so simple. Hold the loop, and then you just put the end in. And this allows you to have the knot exactly where you want, and they're easy to get off if you need to. See, just like that. I feel like I should be documenting today and tomorrow because it will be the end of my journey with Real Simple, which is crazy that it's been a year. I had so much fun, it is such a blessing. I'm gonna get emotional and cry. Um, but yeah, I only have a little bit left to film tomorrow and I'm done, it's crazy. So, I don't know, I just wanted to film this so I could look back on it. I'll have more to say probably tomorrow when I wrap because it'll really make me cry, but uh, time to go finish the bathroom. I hope you guys liked seeing how I organized my small bathroom and hopefully you guys got some tangible tips for your own space. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Real Simple's YouTube channel. Turn on the notifications so you never miss an episode of Simply. Cut! That's a wrap. Oh my gosh. I'm done. I'm done with Real Simple. This is so sad and like bittersweet. I'm gonna cry. Well, that was this was the last time that I had to film straight to camera for Simply. It's crazy. What a year.